I have been waiting anxiously for these books to come in. They're three art books, and I'd like to go over them with you. Some of them, I... Mm, but there's one I really like, and I would recommend it. So, let's go with the overhead and go through them. So, these are the books that I want to talk about today. This one, this first one, uh, Beautiful Landscapes, Painting Outdoors, Mastering Plain Air. I love it is it's a soft cover I think they actually call it a flex cover but it is by Michael Chesley Johnson and just looking at this cover this piece that he did just all the colors and the looseness just it covers the basics along with it goes through and talks to individual artists, which are a nice variety of artists. They're not, sorry, but they're not all white older men. But it goes through and it talks about their practices and their uh, tips and, and suggestions as working artists. Some of them are a little bit more abstract, while some are more traditional realistic, traditionally realistic. And these are the artists that it includes. And I just, I really like this book. I'm going to need to go back through it again, I think, and just slower and really absorb what's in here. It does talk about pastel. The only thing is it does not talk about oil pastel. It talks about soft pastels, which isn't entirely unexpected. But it goes over composition and it got Carlson's theory. It's just, it's just a nice book. It's just a nice overall how to use, how to, how to paint plain air. It's, yeah, I like, I like this one. And this one, I can't remember how much it was. Uh, $28.99 retail in the U.S., $37.99 in Canada. And I got this on Amazon. This one, Painting the Landscape in Pastel, Albert Handel has a long career of using pastels. So there were some things I expected because I've also got this one of his. But I was, I was pleasantly surprised to see this Anita Louise West is from Kansas which is where I'm at. So that was an added. But this one has some beautiful work. The thing that disappointed me, I guess, is that oil pastels are never mentioned. They're never mentioned. That I saw, anyway. And when I look in the in the index, there's nothing on it. So I found that disappointing. But the same principles apply. A lot of ways. That's beautiful. But anyway, and oh, this one was. I don't know. I want to say it was comparable. It was around 25. Maybe. But let me let me say, um, Albert Handel, I had another book of his in my in my collection. 
It does not mention oil pastels at all. This is an older one, obviously. This was copyright 1981. So, but the thing I did notice was in the very back, the appendix talks about making pastels. And I just had a video covering that. And so I thought this was interesting. This has more information, even though it is a, it looks like it's a portrait, but it has more information on the nuts and bolts. It even goes about making marble dust papers, um, you know, toning paper. It, this I found, this section alone, for myself is worth this book. Now the rest of it is sound principles. But I have to say, if you're gonna buy one of these, this one I feel like is going to be More, of more use. Yeah, see it talks about underpainting. Then again, if you're only interested in landscapes, uh, this was my favorite one. This uh, landscape painting, essential concepts and techniques for plain air and studio practice. I thought this, I love this book. This was probably the most useful one of all of them. If you're going to get one book of the ones that I've shown, this is it. And I found this one because of Sandy Hester. She had it on hers. I'm looking to see if there's oil pastel in here. No. But it is just, it's beautiful, for one. But it also has a lot of useful information that I found. It talks about, yeah, spatial. It's just, it's, it's a wonderful book. And look at this work. Look at that, just for the, for the eye candy. It's, uh. This does cover different mediums, but I don't see pastels specifically. But as you know, most things cross over color, composition, you know, the elements and principles. And I'm looking into doing studies outside in oil pastel and then coming back to the studio. I got oil, oil paint on that. And then coming back and doing oil paintings. So this is great. This one was 35 USA and 43 in Canada. But I want to say I did not pay that. I, I did get it on Amazon. And so of all of these books, this one is an older one that I've had for a long time. This one, I really, really like. This one, mm. but this one, yes, this, this one's wonderful. So that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Mm. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a like and or subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care. Be safe. What are you doing? What you doing, baby? Hmm? What's up? Hmm? Aww. <laughs>